prosecutor Alfred Jr. Previously on If Loving You Is Wrong. It's life for both crimes. I think you're fired. Is there anything that you've lied about that you want to tell me? If he's one more lie and that's it, I'm gone. Some people called asking for Larry. You want to know where he is? Who? I knew that bastard would do this. Don't. No, he and wanted to do this, down. Carrie. We didn't know that. You said that somebody switched the DNA. Who was it? I want a name. I don't know. I can't tell you. Why are you standing in the middle of nowhere next to a box truck? Now you better get him home. And you better get him home now. I know that he still want me. He can have me. I don't pursue this. Do you like your clothes? Take off your clothes. I know. Why? I can't. I can't. No, I just do it. I know I can't. I can't. I. You can. Do it. I'm sorry. Just let me get this straight. If I don't go after whoever did this, you'll have to sleep with you. Wait, Reno, that wasn't what I said. No, that's, that's, that's what you're just about to do. No, I wasn't. Alice, you were taking clothes off. No, I wasn't. I wasn't really going to do it. I, I, I... No, I, I think you were. No. Look, I just, can I just drop this, please? It's gonna be done. So what are you saying? I just... I would rather be at peace with you than be enemies. Please, you win, okay? Can we please just drop it? Can you please not say anything to Brad and, and just not pursue this anymore? Please. You still love me? Yes. Liar. No. I, I do. Think about me. Yes. What do you think about it? How angry I am with you most of the time. Is that all? There's other thoughts. Like what? I know you really could have not go through with this. Well, that depends. Now you answer these questions. You think about sex with me? Yes. What do you think about? How? How it was, it was good? How you, you were good? Is it any better with Brad now? Maybe. It's me. Yes, he's better. But he's still not me. Pickle, please. Answer my question. Can we just, I don't know, can, can we just not talk about this right now? So he's... So he's as good as me. You sure? Just... I know, I really just don't. That's my question. That's what you need. You're better, okay? Can we drop it now, please? Get on your knees. I know. Get on your knees. No. Get out of my yard. 
What? Bring me just talk to me. You, you think that makes it all better? Randall? Huh? Us talking? I can't do that, please. I'm, I'm just begging you. Please just drop it, okay? Please. Get out of my yard. No, please. Don't say anything about it. Don't go after this. Please just tell me. Get out of figured this out. What are you trying to figure out? What happened? He knows, Natalie. He knows, knows what? He knows that we have to do a DNA test. Well, how does he know that? We had found a camera on the side of the house, and he, he pulled it off, and we thought it was disconnected, but then it had a backup battery, and we had it in our house, and he, he heard everything that we said. Yes. Son of a bitch. I know. What, what, what is he threatening to do? To tell Brad? Wait a minute. Well, Brad already knows. Well, yeah, he does, but... Alex. Am I missing something? I just don't know what to do anymore. Because the first thing you gotta do is you gotta stay away from his crazy ass. Now that you're the one who told me to be crazier than he is. Not like you went into his backyard. Now look, come on, don't blame that on me. That's just a dumb move. I know. I was just trying to talk him out of go and tell Brad, tell the courts, take my kid, ruin my marriage, ruin my life. I mean, why are you going back there? That's gonna take your marriage. I know. I was desperate. I Alex, listen, you gotta be smarter about this. I know, Natalie. What do you suggest that I do? Well, the hmm? first thing I think you should do is just to stay away from him. Do you know how this looks? You coming from back there. Doesn't look good. I know, Natalie. Look, let, me, let me tell you this. Do not talk to that fool again, okay? Stay away from him, you hear me? And... Only if he comes at you, acting crazy, then you do the same. I have to go. I... says he's going to help. Well, I've been talking to Carl. And... Don't. I'm trying to figure something else out. Okay. Kelly. I think there's something I need to talk to you about. Okay. It's about justice. What about it? I think it'd do him some good if he saw you. Fear? Yeah. No bullshit. No. Look, me and Nav, we stole him that, but we think it's best he hears it from you, his own mother. What are you gonna say to him? 
You know it's hard. No, Lucian. I think him seeing you would do him some good. Even in here? Yes. He needs to know what's going on as far as I'm good. I don't want him to see me locked up like some animal. And if he doesn't see you, then he's not going to know what's going on, and then he's going to draw his own conclusions as to what's happening. And you know how kids his age can take on things. I understand. I know that too. Kelly, he's blaming himself. What? Yeah. Wait, how do you know that? Why do you think he made the confession? A boy child of a single mother. He wants to help you, protect you, more than any other situation I've seen. So you think I should? Hey, I know you should. I don't know if I can, Lucian. Come on. Yes, you can. Okay. All right. I was just listening to the tape. What tape? The one where Alex and Brad were talking to you about the DNA being switched. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Uh, look, I just wanted to apologize to you. Okay. Bye. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like, I came over here and I was, you know, accusing Lucian and... I'm gonna find out the kid's mind all along. Are you finished or are you done? Yeah, yeah, no, I just, uh, I just want to say thank you for, for understanding. I mean, to have Dr. Rastin switch that DNA, I mean, regardless of what you think of me, that you have to know that's wrong. I mean, that's, you gotta agree with that. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you, you know it was Dr. Raston. I mean, it had to have been Dr. Raston. I mean, who else could it have been? Is 
所以这个没送哈。Out of my house, right now, or they take you out of here in little bitty pieces. I'm too small for your bullshit. I know you are. It's that hood mentality. I really do like what you've done with the place. Let a Negro art. <laughs> Probably do less of that. It's less. It's all. Ma, I'm presenting here today, all. I can't do an effective job without witnesses and investigations to counter the prosecution. I'm telling you, she's innocent. Let me show you something. What's that? Take a look. Are you kidding me? That bastard. Yeah. Huh? This guy, it's our neighbor. It's out of control. Well, he's got it, and the prosecutor has her on video. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I'm sorry. You see how difficult this is. Yeah, I know. Well, then you know that she should consider. She's not taking that offer. Well, she needs to get another lawyer. I'm officially been fired, so there you have it. Okay. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Lucian, you find him? Yeah, I know where he is. I'm gonna go get him. Is he okay? I'm not sure. I'll let you know. Lucian, man, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, but uh, now I'm gonna need you to hold up your end of the bargain, which is the lawyer. Look, I called the guy. His name is Marty Derulio. He should be contacted in a minute. Oh, 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 oh. What's his name? Derulio. D E R R U L L I O. He owes me favors, and he's a big rival of Larry's. Okay. All right. Great. Not a problem. Can she afford him? No, but hell, at least it'll help me get started. Then it'll probably be cool. Okay. All right. Thanks. Not a problem. As soon as you get word from Larry, have him call me. I will. I need you to file this. We might have to file. Marcy. How do you feel? She's doing better. I was worried. Thank you. You really need to understand that. Yes, I I said that. I... Uh, no, actually, you don't. I got it already taken care of. Another reason for you not to need me. I didn't come here because I need you. I came here to bring you some good news. Good news. Well, I could I could use some of that. Oh、uh, yeah, can we uh talk alone? I think so. It's fine. 
I don't want you getting upset right now. I'm not upset. It's okay. Okay. I'm gonna get some coffee. What is it? Here you go. What's this? Your divorce papers. He signed it? Yeah. Larry must have worked it out. <laughs> <That's not laughs> Thank you so much. No, I already filed it with the kids. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. Sure. <sighs> wow. Thank wow. You. I just wanted to give that to you so you could be okay and go home. <laughs> wow, that it does make me feel. I just, I just wanted to give you that so you can be okay. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I call you later? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Bye. I guess I'll see you later. Okay. Thanks, man. Excuse me. Yeah. I have this to say to you. That is the most insulting, insensitive thing even a low-down scum of a lawyer like you would do. Excuse me? She's in there, trying not to miscarry. And you're worrying her about your papers, about your house. That's not why I came here. Oh, it's not? No. Is that right? I care about her. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't even know her? No, but... I would think that's none of your concern. Now, what is my concern is that I care about her. I care about her health. That's why I'm here. Because I care about her, too. I want the same thing. Yeah, right. Well, nice seeing you, Brad. Sign him unless he was up for something. Well, <laughs> look at the bright side. You're free. Yeah. Yeah, that's what matters. Yeah, that's what matters. <laughs> Okay. I'll go through that. 
I'll take care of him. Okay. I'll see you when I get him. Hmm. Justice? I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Okay. You want to um, take a walk with me while I bring your mom over? No, I, I just want to see you. Come on. You're not going to miss her. I'm going to show you around the station a little bit. Come on. Let's go. You hungry? Sure. Thirsty? Yes, a little bit. See what I can hook you up with. Ready for this? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make sure you have some time alone, okay? Okay. Just this. Okay. 
Yeah. You just need to relax. Yeah, I know. Good. You're gonna be okay. Thank you. Excuse me, uh, Greg, could I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait. Why? Oh, it isn't anything about you. I just need to talk to Brad in private. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Be right back. Is she really okay? Well, not until I get the results back on those last two tests. But it's looking good. Okay. That's good. You seem relieved. I am, yeah. May I ask how involved you are with her? Excuse me? I know it's none of my business, but if I'm going to navigate both Alex and Marcy and be their doctor, then I just need to know what I'm dealing with here. You're not dealing with anything. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I mean, with Marcy's baby not being her husband's, and... Yeah, well, we both know that. How would we know that? Yeah. You're right, you're right. So I just need to know what's going on so I know where to stand. Marcy's a friend. She's not your wife. No, we know that. Okay. But you seem... You seem intimate. Sorry, I don't understand how this is any of your concern. Well, knowing you and Alex for years, this one? Are, are, you, are you a counselor? No, Brooklyn? No. No, but I did get a text that Alex is on her way up in the elevator. Okay. So I just thought that you'd want to know that she's here. Well, thank you. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? Excuse me. Um, <laughs> are you, uh, you Dr. Rastin? Yes. I guess there's really no, uh, easy way to say this, except to just kind of come out and say it. Um, are you the bitch that switched the DNA results for my son? I beg your pardon? Yeah, yeah, you, you did it. You did it. Yeah, I mean, Alex said you did it, so. I'm calling security? Oh, okay, yeah, well, you know, while you're at it, you might want to go ahead and call a lawyer or about two or three. Shoot, the whole team of them. I'm going to... I'm going to sue the hell out of you. Hey, hey, I'm going to sue this whole hospital. Okay, I don't know what you've heard or who you've spoken to, but I would never do anything that unethical or underhanded, okay? No. You need to check your sources, and you need to find your way out of this hospital. Okay, no, yeah, absolutely. I'm, um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go stand over here and just call my lawyer real quick. You know, get the suing. You know, hey, I'll be right back. I'm calling security. Okay. Hey, baby. Alex, what did you say to that man? We, we didn't say anything to it. We would never expose you. Expose me? About what? Yeah, that you held with the DNA and stuff. Alex! Didn't you tell her that? No, I did not. You told Brad that I said that, didn't you? Threats don't go over too well around here, Mr. Holmes. Next, John, if loving you is wrong. I'll be back here. I'll be waiting. I can still see him. I can still see Travis. I can still smell his blood. She might have had the doctor. The worst here. And the DNA. I gave her the chance to tell me the truth, and she lied to me again. I'm genuinely concerned. For Steven, if you could just please call Maybe him. Maybe today, as they are. You still love me. You're so wrong about that. You do. 
That's why there's all of this fire and all of this passion.